Hey Claiborne, it's late Friday. If you listen really close, you can probably hear Steven's white noise machine in the background. A while back, you sent me a link to making a Lego game in Unity, and your most recent video reminded me about it, so I thought I'd do a video exploring that, because I think I have an idea of what you can do for videos until you get to New Mexico. You can make a video game. So, no lies, Claiborne, I feel like I downloaded and installed, then installed again, and then installed a third time. Unity is like one of those yo dog memes with the installs and agreement acceptances. Once I got through almost all of that, though, I finally got to a screen that kind of showed something that I might want. Unity has several micro game starters, some of which look interesting, really interesting. Like, I may try carding after the LEGO micro game. I should say I've worked with Unity before, but it's been a long while, probably about five years. After what I think is the final, final install of Unity, I launched the app and it put me into a tutorial. The first step was to play the LEGO game I hadn't written yet, so that's what I did. The sound effects and controls were fairly familiar, except I haven't played a computer game in a long time and had a hard time controlling both the camera and my character at the same time. And I'm not sure what the objective is, though these green floating things seemed to want me to collect them, so I did that until I got to a point that I didn't think I could make it past without dying. Spoiler alert, I died there a few times. The next thing the micro game tutorial wanted me to do was speed up the minifig, which is great because I started off walking really slow. They doubled it and then told me to save, so I did that too. While I played, the faster walking speed made me jump further, but also made me die much faster. At least now we know the game already has a game over screen. There are quite a few other tutorials to make a micro game, adding platforms and elevators and enemies and other things, maybe weapons. At one point I think I found a way to copy the actual landmass I was standing on and expand it. But I didn't actually go through any of the other tutorials. I figure we might want to do that though, and maybe make an awesome LEGO video game that we can share. Claiborne, I'll see you on Tuesday. Claiborne and I are glad that we get to share our love of LEGOs with the internet. If you like our content, share your favorite video with a few of your friends, and don't forget to subscribe.